So today I'll be doing an unboxing, or rather an unbagging, of a product that is available at retail, but not in this particular form. So this is the... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what it is. And, oh, hold on, I need to get my knife here because, uh, you know, this knife has proven very popular with my viewers. I'm going to break the elastic there. Yeah, there we go. We'll use that as a size, size comparison against the, uh, the video card. So, based on the accessory, the one accessory that came with this sample card, I'm going to let our viewers guess. So pause the video and see if you can guess what card this is. So it includes six mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort adapters, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, put down a comment and guess. Anyway, so for those who guessed or for those who haven't guessed, yes. This is the ATI Radeon HD 5870 iFinity 6 edition. So this has six display outputs. And other than that, it is pretty much a plain Radeon 5870. But a couple of things. First of all, because it has six mini display ports, and you can actually plug them in just like that, okay? It also has a full length exhaust slot, unlike the regular 5870, which is only able to exhaust off about a quarter of the PCI backplate. Now, another advantage that it has is that it has two gigs of video RAM versus the only one gig of video RAM on the regular 5870. Other than that, it's pretty similar. So you can see we've got our backplate here and we've got a full shroud on the back that's cooling um, that's cooling the back of the video card. We've got a regular PCI Express 16X interface. Up at the top, we will find two crossfire bridge uh, fingers, but you know what? That, this is something that there's a lot of misconceptions about, and I thought I'd just clear this up. A lot of people think you have to plug two bridges if you've only got two cards, but actually that can degrade performance rather than helping performance. It's actually just fine to run only a single bridge between your two cards. So there you go, crossfire lesson of the day. So around the front of the card, we find the ATI Radeon branding. And here's another big difference is that this card uses a six pin and an eight pin PCI Express power connector. So because it's got those uh, that extra RAM, that's the only real spec difference, and it needs a little bit more power. Okay, so we'll go around to the Batmobile-esque uh, shape of the cooler. Because this is a sample card and not actually a retail card, there's only the ATI branding on it, so there's no, uh, no partner branding like a Sapphire or PowerColor XFX, nothing like that. Around the bottom of the card, we find nothing all that exceptional. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about the iFinity 6 card and the technology that goes behind it. So you can see that ATI has gone and included six mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort adapters. And while I'm talking, I'm just going to plug these in so that you can get the full impact of all of the displays you can hook up to this card. I mean, even a couple years ago, the idea of having a consumer level gaming card that could output three displays was crazy. And now we have one that can output to six displays. Now, you you might go, oh, well, I don't have a display port monitor. And that may be true, but the reality is once you've gone out to display port, you can actually take two of these and you can adapt them to either HDMI or DVI. So you could run six monitors off of this card with two DVI adapters and then four DisplayPort monitors. So that would give you a way to do that. Now, iFinity 6, you can make the argument again that a 5870 isn't really powerful enough to drive six displays at 2560 by 1600 resolution. That would probably be true. But what you can do is you can still run six displays out in crossfire mode with another iFinity 6 edition card. So that means that you can actually run six displays off two cards and get the power of both cards running behind it. I don't believe at this time you can crossfire a 5870 iFinity 6 with a regular 5870. And the reason for that is the different video memory, although they may update that in the future. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and quick product showcase of the ATI Radeon 5870 iFinity 6. Yeah, the cameraman reminded me when I said thank you for watching my video blog or whatever it is I said that uh, I never actually did the size comparison that I promised. So here it is plugged into a really old fail motherboard, but it is a standard ATX board. So you can see that it does stretch about an inch past the edge of the board. 
Okay, so you can kind of look at that from the bottom, see how far it stretches out. You can see what it looks like installed in the motherboard. So it takes up both the PCI Express slot it's plugged into, as well as the next over slot. And then here it is for a size comparison against the cameraman's iPhone, because we so frequently do that. You can see that it is uh, much smaller than an, or much smaller, much bigger than an iPhone. There you go, as helpful as that may be. And then last but not least, comparison is against the length of the sword that I have begun using for my unboxings. So there, that is it. That is the scale of the iFinity 6 5870 2GB graphics card.